to take a tangent on that, since it reminded me of a blog post you wrote on optimal rate of failure. Oh, yeah. Can you explain the key idea there? How do we compute the optimal rate of failure in the various domains of life? Yeah, I mean, it's a hard one because it's like, what is the cost of failure is um, a big part of it. Um, yeah, so the idea here is, um, I think in a lot of domains, people are very punitive about failure. And I'm like, there are some domains where, especially cases, you know, I've thought about this with like social issues. I'm like, it feels like you should probably be experimenting a lot. Because I'm like, we don't know how to solve a lot of social issues but if you have an experimental mindset about these things, you should expect a lot of social programs to like fail and for you to be like, well, we tried that. It didn't quite work, but we got a lot of information that was really useful. Um, and yet people are like, if, if a social program doesn't work, I feel like there's a lot of like, this is just something must have gone wrong. And I'm like, or correct decisions were made. Like maybe someone just decided like it, it's worth a try. It's worth trying this out. And so seeing failure in a given instance, doesn't actually mean that any bad decisions were made. And in fact, if you don't see enough failure, sometimes that's more concerning. Um, and so like in life, you know, I'm like, if I don't fail occasionally, I'm like, am I trying hard enough? Like, like surely there's harder things that I could try or bigger things that I could take on if I'm literally never failing. And so in and of itself, I think like not failing is often actually kind of a failure. Um, now this varies because I'm like, well, you know, if this is easy to say when, especially as failure is like less costly, you know, so at the same time, I'm not going to go to someone who is like, um, I don't know, like living month to month and then be like, why don't you just try to do a startup? Like, I'm just not, I'm not going to say that to that person because I'm like, well, that's a huge risk. You might like lose, you maybe have a family depending on you. You might lose your house. Like then I'm like, actually your optimal rate of failure is quite low and you should probably play it safe. Because like right now you're just not in a circumstance where you can afford to just like fail and it not be costly. Um, and yeah, in cases with AI, I guess I think similarly where I'm like, if the failures are small and the costs are kind of like low, then I'm like, then, you know, you're just going to see that. Like when you do the system prompt, you can't iter iterate on it forever, but the failures are probably hopefully going to be kind of small and you can like fix them. Um, really big failures, like things that you can't recover from. I'm like, those are the things that actually I think we tend to underestimate the badness of. Um, I've thought about this strangely in my own life where I'm like, I just think I don't think enough about things like car accidents or like, or, or like I've thought this before, but like how much I depend on my hands for my work. And I'm like, things that just injure my hands. I'm like, I, you know, I don't know. It's like, there's, these are like, there's lots of areas where I'm like, the cost of failure there um, is really high. Um, and in that case, it should be like close to zero. Like I probably just wouldn't do a sport if they were like, by the way, lots of people just like break their fingers a whole bunch doing this. I'd be like, that's not for me. Yeah. I actually had a flood of that thought. I recently uh, broke my pinky uh, doing a sport. And I, and I remember just looking at it thinking, you're such an idiot. Why do you do sport? Like what? Because you realize immediately the cost of it. Yeah. On life. Yeah, but it's nice in terms of optimal rate of failure to consider like the next year, how many times in a particular domain, life, whatever, uh, career, am I okay with the, how many times am I okay to fail? Yep. Because I think it always, you don't want to fail on the next thing, but if you allow yourself the, like the, the if you look at it as a sequence of trials, yep. then, then failure just becomes much more okay. But it sucks, it sucks to fail. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I think it's like, am I under failing is like a question that I'll also ask myself. So maybe that's the thing that I think people don't like ask enough. Uh, because if the optimal rate of failure is often greater than zero, then sometimes it does feel like you should look at part of, parts of your life and be like, are there places here where I'm just under failing? <laughs> <laughs> it's a profound and a hilarious question, right? Everything seems to be going really great. Am I not failing enough? Yeah. Okay. It also makes failure much less of a sting, I have to say. Like, you know, you're just like, okay, great. Like, I, then when I go and I think about this, I'll be like, I'm, maybe I'm not under failing in this area because, like, that one just didn't work out. And from the observer perspective, we should be celebrating failure more. Mm -hmm. When we see it, it shouldn't be, like you said, a sign of something gone wrong, but maybe it's a sign of everything gone right. Yeah. And just lessons learned. Someone tried a thing. Somebody tried a thing. Mm -hmm. And we should encourage them to try more and fail more. Mm -hmm. Everybody listening to this, fail more. <laughs> well, not everyone listens. Not everybody. But people who are failing too much, you you should fail us. <laughs> but you're probably not failing. I mean, yeah. how many people are failing too much? Yeah. 
It's hard to imagine because I feel like we correct that fairly quickly. Because I was like, if someone takes a lot of risks, are they maybe failing too much? I, I think just like you said, when you're living on a paycheck month to month, like when the resources are really constrained, then that's where failure is very expensive. That's where you don't want to be taking 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 risks. Yep. But mostly when there's enough resources, you should be taking probably more risks. Yeah, I think we tend to err on the side of being a bit risk averse rather than risk neutral on most things. I think we just motivated a lot of people to do a lot of crazy shit, but it's great. Yeah. 